My name's Stevic. I play guitar for Australian band 12 Foot Ninja. The very first Very Axe I played was a 500 model. And uh, yeah, it was like a regular guitar. I had no pickups. I had these extra controls that caught my attention initially. And then when I heard that you could turn a control and then have a completely different guitar, that really kind of uh, set my imagination rolling with all the possibilities because the kind of music that I write and often listen to has quite divergent genres. So the idea that I could go from an acoustic guitar to like a stratty kind of sound into a harder rock guitar just by uh, changing a dial, that was what sold me right from the get-go. Another aspect to the Variax which is absolutely mind-boggling is the tuning. You can digitally tune any string an octave below or above and every note in between that spectrum. So if you can imagine the possibilities in terms of chord voicings or how you structure your riffs, you can turn strings off uh, if you want to. So it it's really is limitless and that is what appeals to me most. Electric guitar has seen a lot of changes over the years, but nothing has ever come out that does what the Variax can do. It's on a whole other level of technology infused with a conventional electric guitar. And that combination of those two aspects result in this limitless potential. It started as a, as a solution live and then it, it sort of worked its way into the studio and then it's really just a part of what I do. I've been using the JTV89 Variax since it came out. Although the technology was the thing that drew me to the guitar in the first place, I've always had a little bit of an issue with the aesthetic side of things. It wasn't really what I would choose to play, irrespective of the technology. I guess that was the motivating factor for me to have a crack at designing my own version of a Variax, what would that be? And, and really it was just to see whether I could do it in the beginning. And I worked with a luthier in Sydney to create a prototype and Line 6 dug what had been created and saw what my vision was and brought the concept over to the Yamaha guitar development team in Burbank, California. And there was a luthier there, Pat, who's somewhat of a, a guitar ninja. And he was able to really bring out the best in my design. He, you know, shrunk the body down, made the contours a little bit more purposeful. Um, the balance of the guitar was something that struck me straight away. When I picked it up, we achieved that fundamental resonance that you get when you play a really good guitar. It sort of molds into your body and you become, you know, one with the instrument. Really, that's the ultimate you could ask for in a guitar, that you get that synergy in terms of the player and the instrument. My sort of thinking was if the guitar was the first thing that you gravitated towards, it looked cool, it felt great, it sounded awesome to play. You know, before you even plug it in and know that the technology is in it, you're going to be a lot more open to the possibilities that the technology can bring. And I think that's been achieved with the shuriken. So the guitar is great, looks cool, feels great, it sounds excellent before you've even plugged it in, the resonance of everything, it's, it's a well-made guitar. What I hope is that there'll be other people that pick up on this instrument, you know, young guitar players that get inspired to use the technology to create innovative music, you know, things that we haven't seen, things that I'd hear and it would knock me off my chair out of surprise of what's being created. That really is the ultimate goal, and I suppose reintroducing this Variax concept in a completely new, contemporary sort of way. So that's what Shuriken's all about. Yeah.